to be filming this, but the government have recently announced that they are switching A-levels to teach process grades. Now, me having done one year of them think that I am now in a sort of position where I can give some advice on how to ace your teacher assess grades in somehow. It is January now, so it's not too late to reverse your grades, and the teachers really want you to get as best grades as you can. Now, a lot of you have been done over, I think is a polite way of saying it, regarding teacher assess grades in the last year, and it's really important to keep your work up and to keep your assessments up if you want to get good teacher assess grades, because it doesn't just mean that you're going to be given an A star willy-nilly. No, because teachers can easily give you a C, can easily give you a D. I've seen it happen before, and the news have seen it happen from my own point of view, I've seen teachers give out bad grades and it is possible and it's actually more than likely that they'll be strict because you know they don't want their school to be known for just giving out random grades and then having to do a uh, sort of audit from Ofsted and from government on school, you know it brings bad names and bad reputations to the school. So they want to be as strict and as fair as possible. So you want to be in a position where you can say look I've given you all this evidence and given you all this work so you can give me a good grade. So here are some quick tips in terms of how to ace your teachers assess grades from January. So tip number one, do all your work. Why the hell would you not do your work if you know your teacher is going to give you grades that can determine whether you get into university? If you've got a piece of homework now and teacher says this is due on Monday, please do it for Monday. Don't do it for Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. You want every single piece of work, at least from now, to be on time or earlier than time. Whenever you get the homework, do it on the same day it's set or the next day. Set yourself a deadline so that you're always on top of it. There's nothing worse than having teachers as grades and regularly giving in homework past its due date or when it's late. Don't do that. Don't give teachers an excuse to give you a bad grade. If you give work on time and to a relatively high standard, you are in the clear for a really good grade here. So make sure that you're giving in work on time every single day. Tip number two is to keep revising. Just because you're getting teacher assessed grades, this is no way any sort of indication to stop revising. Even if they don't give you exams, they'll give you homework which is tricky because they know you're at home and they know that you have access to the internet. So they're going to give you homework that's either really long or really hard. Which means that if you constantly revise, you're constantly on top of your work. So for example, they might give you a really difficult piece of chemistry homework due in for the next day. You don't have time to go research this head chemistry homework. You've only got a few hours to do it because you've got maths and biology and English and geography also due in in a few days' time. So if you've been revising, you've got all of this knowledge ready to go. So it's like you're sitting an exam. You can do it really quickly and it means you've got it out of the way. It's ready to hand in and, you know, you can move on to other stuff. And as well, the homework is of a high quality. So if you keep revising, your homeworks are always going to be super high quality and always on time. So keep revising. It really pays off to put in, you know, that extra half an hour of revision a day. The next thing I would say for teacher assessment grades is to be polite. It's difficult for teachers already to deal with this new system of online learning. So when you're sending emails and if they've potentially forgotten to get back to you, give them a few days and make sure that whenever you're talking to them, you be polite. And I know this is sort of like a cheat or sort of, you know, it's not a real way of getting a grade, but you know, teachers do remember the way you've spoken to them. And if you've spoken nicely to them, they're more likely to look positively on you when they're looking at your past marks. And if you're on the border between a B and an A, it's always safe to be the nice kid who's been polite to his teachers or her teachers. So please do do that, remember that. The next thing I would say is to make sure you're organized. Now with online learning, it changes the way you sort of adapt to the way you organize your learning. Now, with everything being online recently and for, the, for this month, it's easy to sort of get into a habit of not staying organized. With no exams, you've got little stress. So it's easy to organize your work smartly. Whenever teachers give out work, make sure you're sorting it almost into a pile that's due today, due tomorrow, due the day after. And as soon as you finish a piece of homework, hand it in if you can, or at least put it in your school bag. There's nothing worse than having done the homework really well and leaving it at home. Put it in your bag. There's nothing worse than handing in a piece of work, like because you've just left it at home and being careless. That's just such an annoying thing to do. Because you've done the work and you've genuinely, you know, put effort into it. Teachers are not likely to believe this, though, because plenty of kids come into school every day and say, you know, I've just left it at home. It's the automatic go-to excuse. So what's worse than having been in that situation? I've done this before, I'll be honest. I've done this before and I have absolutely, and I have kicked myself 10 times because I know I've done the work but I've just left it at home and it's so irritating and it's 
super bad as well to do this when you're getting teacher assessed grades because they are looking for any excuse to put you down a grade. So, leave it in your bag as soon as you finished it. Either do that, hand it in if you can hand it in early, or scan it on your phone or on your computer. This is such an easy thing to do and no one does, I don't know why. Every time you finish a piece of homework, if you've written it down, or if you've typed on your computer, send it to your school account, scan it on your phone, take a photo of it, so that when you go to school, you'll always have your phone with you, and so when you go to school, if you've forgotten it, oh no, I've forgotten it, I've got it on my phone, A, I can either send it to the library or somehow print it off and do it, in that sense, or B, I can email it to my teacher, or C, I can at least show my teacher I've done it, I've got proof that I've you know, taken a photo of it, and in that way, they can't actually say that I've not done it, they have to believe me because I've got proof of it and your teacher will be much more happy to see the proof that you've actually done it you've genuinely left at home. And I'm sure they'll make some arrangements to you. If they don't, then your teacher's just being a bit annoying. But if they do, then most teachers are genuinely nice. In other six, they understand and stressful. So they'll most likely just say, okay, fine, you've got proof that you've done it. I'll allow you to just print it off at the end of school or just send it to me by email. So that'll be fine. Please do that. It's just super easy. Just take a literal photo of your work. It's so easy. And I don't understand why people don't do it. It literally cut down so many, you know, hours and minutes of being shouted at by teachers for not bringing in work. Now the final thing I would say is to prepare for exams. Now I know teachers as great is the go-to alarm for no exams. It's not true, they can still set you online exams. So keep revising, keep the revision going until they say officially, you know what, we're not gonna set you any exams, we're gonna just keep learning. At that point, maybe you can settle down on your revision a little bit. I would excuse you, you know, I, if I were a teacher, I would understand you guys not revising because you know what, you've been said there's no exams, realistically, these are subjects that you're probably not gonna take in the future, apart from one of them, probably, or two of them. So I would appreciate if you didn't revise for a bit. So until that point, keep the revision going because if they set a surprise exam and you've been revising, your classmates are not gonna do so well. You're gonna do really well. It's gonna, you know, put you on a straight plane to success. So keep revising because, you know, it's always good just in case they set you an online exam or they set you some really difficult homework. Keep revising. And that's everything. That's all my tips on how to ace teach SS grades. Hope it was useful to you guys. If you found it useful, well, then smash the like button down below, smash the subscribe button down below. We are close to 100 subscribers. So we'd really appreciate it. And we put a smile on my face to see you guys subscribe. I know about 87% of you aren't subscribed, which is strange. But if you could just go and smash the subscribe button down below, I'll give you about five seconds to do so. It'd be really appreciated for me. And it'd be super great to see some of you guys subscribe and leave lovely comments down below. So if you've got any questions, do drop them in the comments below. Follow me up on my socials and we will see you in the next video. Good luck for your grades and peace.